Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today's video has nothing to do with farming, but it is something practical. Today's video is a Stony Ridge Quick Tips video, and what we're going to be doing is taking this Toyota Tacoma and this 2003 Honda Element and we're going to be fixing the foggy headlights. It's a huge problem with plastic headlights. Everybody drives a car with plastic headlights unless you're driving something from back in the, I guess, late 80s. So all these cars have foggy headlights. They eventually fog over. I'm going to show you guys a quick way that I know works. So with the 3M rubbing compound and we're also going to compare because I posted a video about this about six or eight months ago and tons of people, literally a thousand or more people said that toothpaste would do the same job as rubbing compound. So I thought, well, at least my car will be minty fresh on the front end and it'd be kissable, I guess. So come along today as we have a little bit of fun on the Stony Ridge Quick Tips video. We're gonna show you how to do this with no equipment, only either a paper towel, heavy duty paper towel, or a shop towel, or a shop rag, or some old t-shirt that you got laying around the house. But you can fix these headlights without having to buy new headlights lights and you can see especially with daylight savings time right now the days are getting shorter the nights are getting longer and a lot of people are driving around with crappy headlights so let's show you how we fix them all right i ain't afraid of work i ain't afraid of play i ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way i ain't afraid of life times like this Mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. I said, if you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. All right, guys, this is a farm channel. You're on the Stony Ridge farm. This is a 150 acre farm. We're building a first generation farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So if you'd like to jump in, pound the like button and subscribe, and you can follow along as we do tool reviews and tractor reviews and just have good old country fun. So what we're gonna do, there are all matter of videos all over the internet with all sorts of, <laughs> bad ways to clean your headlights like rubbing Crisco on them, uh, WD-40, PB Blaster, all that stuff. And those are good products but they're definitely not meant to take oxidation off of your headlights and that's what this is all about. It's not about greasing your headlight down, it's about removing that oxidation. Now this is something once you do it you're gonna have to do this, revisit this, you know once every six months and if you don't have 15 minutes every six months to make sure that you can see out of your headlights, then you don't have time for much. I'll tell you that. You don't have time to go to the bathroom. So it's that quick. It's that quick and easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some glass cleaner. This is my favorite glass cleaner. It's called Spray Away. It's a foaming glass cleaner and we're just going to soak down because we don't want any bugs and nastiness on the front of the truck here, okay? Even around the headlights and around the painted surfaces around the headlights or the chrome if you get your chrome grill like this. We're going to clean the element which has been sitting for gosh I bet about a year so the element is a problem vehicle we're gonna be building an adventure vehicle out of this thing so jump in subscribe we're gonna put a pop-up tent on the top of it all kinds of fun stuff so let's take this foaming cleaner we're gonna wipe clean everything all the headlights the headlights on this Toyota are cracked and you'll see that in the video you can't hardly see it with them foggy but they are cracked and the owner has bought new headlights this is gonna buy them a little bit more time this winter to install those new headlights and it's quite a job to put new headlights uh, new lenses and all that stuff on a vehicle so it's a three hour job versus a 15 minute job and it's a $12 expense or maybe even a $1 expense I went to the dollar store and bought the toothpaste versus spending 300 bucks or 200 bucks for a new set of headlights let's clean them up real quick don't be scared soak them down soak them down and give them a minute just let that foam cleaner do its job okay it's just glass cleaner it's not going to hurt anything soak it down good like that so about five minutes has gone by and the foam is starting to break down don't do this on a windy day if you can help it okay i've got a bucket over here with car wash stuff and what we're going to be doing is taking this rag these are awesome awesome shop towels i'll post links to all this stuff the 3m cleaning stuff the toothpaste if you don't want to go to the store and these shop towels these are almost like surgical towels they're a lint-free shop towel that work really really good and they're not very expensive so and you can reuse them and wash them degrease them or whatever so here we go we're going to clean any bug debris any nastiness all the way around this thing because we don't want to pick up any debris and rub that debris into the lens and scratch it okay as simple as washing windows 
Now, I know you're thinking, oh, it said it only takes five minutes and this video is 12 minutes long. Well, we've, we've got to educate you, don't we? That's what this is all about, learning from people. That's why you're on YouTube, man. We're also going to show you at the end of the video how to treat these headlights with a product that works really, really good to help keep them uh, clear for a little bit longer. Let's go to the element. Oh, this sad little Honda right here. <laughs> it needs some love for sure. You got to be careful when you're working around plastic surfaces like this because that stuff is waxy and it will stick to these surfaces. So you may have to clean that off when you get done or you can take some painter's tape and go right around the outside edge of the light. This is the foggy headlight right here and you can see it's just got a sheen on it. We'll show you without the lights on in just a minute. You can see it just basically is hazed over and you can see the big crack in there. These plastic headlights are just notorious for cracking up. Now this is really, really hazy. You can barely see out of this critter uh, in the dark. So it's really going to do good. We're going to go on the left side and we're going to put the passenger side and we're going to be putting the toothpaste on that side and then we'll use the polish on the right. So the left side of this one we'll use toothpaste and the right side we'll be using the 3M compound. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a bit of a toolophile. I love knives and tools and stuff like that. So this is an angle grinder and this is a buffing wheel for an angle grinder. I'll post a link down there to it. We won't be using this until the very end of the video and we'll see if it dresses them up just a little bit more, but we won't be using this. You can do all this by hand and it only takes like 10, 15 minutes to do your whole uh, car basically if your taillights are the same way. So what we do is take our grinding wheel off just like so. Set it over here to the side in our bucket and then we'll take this and I keep it in a Ziploc bag so that it doesn't get contaminated and here we go. This just screws right into place on your angle grinder. So if you're a toolophile this gives you an excuse to buy a cool tool to use every few months when you get ready to polish things up. And this will polish your car. You can see there's some blue in there where I've, <laughs> I've done a few polishing jobs with it. But this is replaceable. It peels off. There's a really heavy velcro type attachment there and you can buy new ones for when they get old and crusty. Just a little Stony Ridge quick tip. We're going to set this guy up here on the hood. We're not going to use him for now. We're just going to use our hands and work the magic. This is 3M Auto Rubbing Compound. You can pick it up at any auto parts store and I'll post you a link down in the video description. There'll be some alternate links to a marine grade based critter just like this. So it's just buffing compound. We're going to shake it really good because there's stuff down in the bottom there that we want. We want to work that stuff into this headlight lens, okay? This is going to be the first one, and we're going to do it with a nice clean towel. We're going to put about an inch dab on there, maybe two inches, something like that. Not a whole lot, and we're going to apply it to the headlight just like so. Make our little tip here and just rub it on. And I can see it's probably going to take more than that. <laughs> so we'll put a little bit more rubbing compound. You want to get a pretty good thin coat on there. There we go. It's going to take a little more the bigger your headlight is, the more it's going to take. Okay, be careful. Try to stay off of painted surfaces if you possibly can. And we're just going to rub on it, get it all coated up good. Again, it works better on a, in a shady place on a not so windy day, but it's a little bit windy and we're a little bit out in the sun. So you're going to see miracles happen here in just a second. Go in circles, go back and forth, up and down, circles left to right just keep on rubbing okay this is real time right here this is not sped up i think we're on about a minute and a half right now just keep rubbing till you think you're done don't stop just keep on rubbing don't just do it a little bit do it a lot okay you want to fast forward to the end there are chapters here so if you want to see the element uh, you can watch that we'll put some chapters in there so if you guys want to just see some results you can see it's starting to break down now. My arms are tired. <laughs> All right, she's coming, a little, coming back to life. Just keep rubbing. You can see this thing has got some contaminants inside the headlights. This does not work for contaminants inside the headlights and it won't take cracks out. Just use common sense, you know what I mean? Okay, just keep on rubbing. All right, there we go. Good, very good. Now, you may want to do this two to three times. You can see we've cleared up 
quite a bit. It's probably 80% clear, but we've got a little problem spot right here. So when we got a problem spot, let's just go do the whole thing one more time with a light coat, okay? And what this is, is just the sun has degraded this thing over time. It's oxidized, and we're taking off the oxidation. If you spray some old uh, grease on it, if you put Crisco or bacon grease on it, it'll look like this, but it won't last. It's not removing the oxidation. These headlights are pretty bad. Looking good though, coming on out. Okay, and we'll show you the other headlight here so we got a comparison of before and after. The more you rub, the prettier it gets. That's what it's all about. Being safe and taking care of your vehicle. This is probably, for a lot of people, the most expensive thing they own, and they don't give it the attention that it deserves. Okay, there's the headlight. That is much, much better. Let's show you the other headlights so you know what the comparison is. So that foggy dog right there is the before, what it looked like before, and that's after. Isn't that amazing? It just does a fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic. So that is the 3M rubbing compound. Now, let's get on this one with some toothpaste. It's really bad up top here. We're gonna do about the same amount. We're just gonna squeeze out yeah, about a good fat inch right there. Look how pretty that toothpaste is. <laughs> Let's see what toothpaste does. I'm really, it's minty fresh. I'm really, uh, <laughs> I, I'm hesitant to even try this, but we're gonna try it. It's an abrasive, okay? So it's just baking soda peroxide crest toothpaste. It takes more toothpaste, okay? Toothpaste might work better. I can feel it working, man, totally. All right, let's get up here in the big problem area. Look at that. <laughs> the truck's got a set of chompers. We got to keep them chompers clean before we have to get a crown put on. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can feel it working. I can actually feel the baking soda toothpaste, baking soda peroxide toothpaste actually working. I can really feel it working. Pretty awesome, man. It'd be so cool if we could do this for a buck. I'll let you know, you know, it's hard to see on camera whether uh, something is superior or not. So I'll let you know when I get done what the real world, what it really looks like. And if toothpaste is just as good, that's going to be super awesome. Now, we've rubbed on it just about as long as we've rubbed on the 3M compound, and it is stuck to it. That toothpaste is all over it. With the 3M compound, it kind of rubbed itself dry and then came off. We'll give it a couple more rubs for good luck. I'm pulling for you, toothpaste. I'm pulling for you. We definitely want to watch our chrome and our paint with the toothpaste because we don't want that on our vehicle. We're going to have to clean this off with glass cleaner. Keep on a rubbing. Here it is. This is going to be the grand reveal. We'll clean this off. <laughs> you can wear rubber gloves if you want to, if you think this is going to irritate your hands, by the way. I'll post a link down there to some rubber gloves. Did toothpaste work or did the toothpaste actually make it worse? It looks to me like it cleaned the headlight, but it's still, it's not smooth. We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt here. We're going to clean it twice. Okay. Get all that toothpaste out of there. It didn't work as good. This is a little more foggy. It just took a little bit of the, the fog out of it. We're really gonna see this on the Honda Element because the Element is a lot worse. So let's go from headlight to headlight and it's gonna be hard to tell on camera, but we'll put it on this one and we'll move it over to the other side. All right, this is Mr. Toothpaste. Okay, still a little foggy on the top. This is automotive polishing compound. There's a difference, guys. Automotive polishing compound, toothpaste. Let's scan across the front, let you guys make the decision. That's 3M, that's toothpaste. Look at the two. Totally the 3M did totally a better job. Now this is the one that has not been clean. Look at the difference. That's the 3M. There's a good difference right there. Look at that. 
3M totally, totally works. Now, we're gonna try the toothpaste over here on this critter. Is toothpaste as good a dollar, two dollar tube of toothpaste, or something that you already have in your house, is that as good as using an automotive polish? This tells the tale. All right, this is Honda Element Toothpaste Clean. And this is Honda Element 3M polishing compound, rubbing compound. Let's back it up here and look at both of them. See the difference? The one on the right is better. The 3M polishing compound works much, much, much better. And one tube of that 3M compound will last you for years and years and years. So that is, again, 3M versus toothpaste. Toothpaste barely works. Toothpaste will do a little bit, but it just barely works. It really, it almost damages your headlights. I don't recommend toothpaste at all, at all. Now let's look at the other vehicle real quick. This is the toothpaste side, once again. All right, we're gonna take this to the next level with the buffer here. That is the non-toothpaste side. We got some shine going on there where it's still relatively dull on that side. And that's the Toyota. Once again, you can really tell a difference. You can tell a difference over here in the Honda too. The one on the left still looks like, <laughs> it doesn't look like anything was done to it hardly. Guys, that tells the tale. Uh, 3M polishing compound or rubbing compound versus toothpaste. Toothpaste doesn't work. It sucks. It just doesn't work. Uh, it, it polishes them up a little bit, but it's not an automotive product and you just run the risk of damaging your headlight. I do not at all recommend toothpaste. I have used this 3M on all sorts of vehicles. My parents' vehicle, my vehicles. This is a neighbor's vehicle and the Honda Element is mine. Now we're gonna take it to the next level with the buffing wheel, okay? You don't have to do this, but for you toolophiles, stick around here. For you guys who aren't toolophiles, you can click off the video, do whatever you want to, but for the toolophiles, this thing is awesome. So we'll put a little bit of rubbing compound on with our hands, and then we'll buff them clean. And I'll show you the, basically this is the before, and then we'll get on it. And you just gotta be real careful. You don't want this edge to get up against anything, that, that edge right there, because it will scratch, it will dig, and you don't wanna press too hard. You just wanna be light and gentle. Very light and gentle, like a paintbrush. Okay, paint the fence. I'm gonna rub it in just like we did before. This is a big headlight right here. A lot of square inches or centimeters. Depending on where you're from. You overseas folks, there we go. Give it a rub, give it some love again. Sometimes you gotta do this two or three times for your first go around. Okay, get that guy on there. We're gonna leave that and let it dry a little bit. Now this one, the toothpaste one, it needs a little bit of love. I'm gonna have to rub on it for a few minutes. So it's a little bit dry, but not all the way dry. We're gonna take our buffing wheel, and we're gonna take the flat surface and we're gonna go over just like so, all right? And then we're gonna use the edge just a little bit also. Don't wanna, don't mash too hard. You can burn the headlight up. In other words, you don't wanna melt the headlight. Look at that. <laughs> That's where it's at, man. So the buffing wheel is where it's at. It really takes it to the next level. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get a buffing set up like this. I'll post a link to a buffer, a dedicated car buffer, if you're a carophile, a toolophile, and I'll post a link to this nice DeWalt 20 volt. Be advised, if you're using this with a buffer, it takes a lot of power, so you're gonna burn through some batteries. So be gentle, don't mash hard, just be gentle, like painting. Again, like Miyagi-san, paint the fence. You just gotta be gentle with it, okay guys? It looks absolutely awesome. So 
Thanks a lot. Look at that. Look at that thing shine, man. We took that thing from rags to riches in literally 15 minutes. The buffing wheel really helps, but if you don't have that kind of tool, you can do this, your grandma can do this, with just a little bit of rubbing power. That's pretty much it. Just rub on it with your hands. No tools required. So, guys, thanks a ton. We're gonna get on this other headlight, polish it up, and we're actually gonna hit the buffing wheel over here on the Honda Element. Things are gonna be looking good. We'll be able to see tonight. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please jump in here, pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd sure love to have you back. We've got all sorts of fun stuff if you have an automotive guy right there the old c10 pickup we've got a suzuki samurai we've got tractors these are our chickens that we're raising here on the farm we've got cattle it's just a great time on the stony ridge thanks guys we'll see you next time we'll Woo! come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life pure and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge Congratulations, you had enough patience to stick around for the bonus footage. The way that I treat these lenses after I clean them, and this stuff is so awesome. It's Chemical Guys Tire and Trim Gel. It takes it to the next level, it protects it, okay? So we're gonna just put a dab, just a tiny dime-sized dab of this stuff, and it's thick, really, really, really thick. We're gonna rub it in, and what we're doing is we're sealing up those pores that we just polished okay so we're gonna rub that on there just like so we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit and then we're gonna come back we're gonna go all directions and we're gonna come back with a paper towel and just wipe it dry we're gonna do that to all four sets of lights this stuff takes it to the next level and it is slimy slimy stuff